There is a When I tell y'all I shit it. Now 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 heavy now heavy now heavy now everybody now, sing that shit. What's up y'all? It's your girl Tay Pancakes aka Tail Stevens aka Tay. So, hmm, I haven't posted in like five days. Just to let you guys know, I really, 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 really want to be posting more than I am right now, but it's a lot going on with me. My move hasn't been as smooth as I thought it was going to be, but you know, whatever, life happens. So, today's story time um, is going to be about the man living in my ceiling. And no, it's not clickbait. It's real tea. Like, I never did a story time on here, on this channel anyway, and it's gonna be some tea. But, before we do that, it's my 100k plaque. Every time I see other YouTubers do this, it seems like it takes them, like, oh my eyes, god damn it. Like, it takes them months to get, like, a month or two to get their plaque. I said, uh-uh. I hit up YouTube, I said, hey honey, just let y'all know, I hit 100k, in case you didn't see it. I actually got it, like, a week ago. But, so, two weeks after I hit 100k which was now three weeks ago. Two weeks after I hit 100K, I got my plaque. Thank you, oh my God, thank you. So this is how it came with the beautiful message from YouTube. Let's open her up, like, oh. Y'all know what a YouTube plaque looks like, but baby, this one got my mother freaking name on it. Tay Pancakes, aka Taylor Stevens, aka Tay. Yes, once I get settled in, I will find somewhere to put my beautiful, beautiful award. Thank you, YouTube, and thank y'all for supporting your girl. I love y'all so much. Anyway, time to get to the story time. So, Flapjack has decided to come into the story time because I need the comfort. Okay, so the day I moved here, if you are new here, a couple weeks ago, I just moved from Los Angeles to Atlanta. I live in Atlanta now. So, um, I took a road trip across country with my best friend. It took about four days. Fast forward, me and my best friend Taylor, her name is Taylor too, yes. I'm saying her real name because y'all already heard, y'all seen Taylor on my channel, y'all know Taylor went with me, like it's not a, yeah, I don't need to use no fake names in this story. So, me and Taylor get here to my new apartment. You know, the first day we have no furniture, but we want to break the house in with so wine. We get up in the house, I'm like, yeah, let's go buy some wine, pop a bottle. So we pop some wine, have a glass or two. After we have a glass or two, she gets on the phone with her boyfriend, I get on the phone with mine. So basically, there's two bedrooms. One is Courtney's when she gets here, and the other is mine. So I was talking on the phone with my boyfriend in one room. She was talking on the phone with her boyfriend in another. Now, earlier that night, along with our wine, Taylor had tacos, homemade tacos, because we went grocery shopping, and I had chicken curry. She had already eaten some tacos, I had already eaten some curry, and while that seems very, very, very unnecessary to say, that is going to be the key point in this story. <laughs> Stay with me now. In my apartment, it's very big, it's like 1,300 square feet, like, when I'm in my room, I can't hear anything in the living room over like the music and stuff we had playing. Taylor comes in and she's trying to tell me something. I couldn't figure out what she was trying to tell me that night because I was so into my argument. Apparently, that whole night, she was looking for her tortillas to make another taco because she was hungry. You know, you got some drinks in your system, you want some food. My sis wanted some food. So Taylor was looking for her tortillas. So this is how my, I'm showing you in video, this is how my counter and my sunroom is set up. So she set her tortillas on that um, counter right there. Mind you, we had not left the house since we cooked dinner. We hadn't walked outside for a breath of fresh air. Nothing, sis. We didn't leave the house at all. Fast forward the next morning, she was like, hey, sis, have you seen my tortillas? I was like, your tortillas? You just had tacos last night. What do you mean? It's nothing in the house. Like, how can you not find something? Like, when I tell y'all, it's literally nothing in my house. Like, at the time, there was nothing in my house. I'm showing y'all everything, like, nothing in. I don't have a bed. I don't have a couch. I don't have a chair, bitch. I don't have nothing in my mother's freaking house. So, it's not like it could have fell behind something. So, we're laughing about it, essentially. I'm like, where are the taco shells? What you mean? She said, I was, la last night, I just chopped, she just chopped it up as to she was tired and could not find the tortillas and she would just look in the morning. So, I'm like, girl, you're lying. So, I look around my kitchen. I look in the fridge. I'm like, they're not in here. I look in all the cabinets, even the high cabinets, even though she's shorter than me and probably can't reach it. So, I'm looking in all the cabinets and I'm like, we're laughing. I'm like, girl, these tortillas are gone. Like, what the me, like, you sure you didn't throw them away? Lie to you not, we dug through the trash can. I dug, she dug, she checked, I checked. I started checking obscure places at this point, because at this point, I'm starting to get weirded out. I'm like, 
where the freak are the tortilla shells? Soft tortilla shells missing, M.I.A. So, I start looking in crazy places. I go in my room, I look in my closet, I go where she was. Courtney's room has nothing in it. Mine kind of had clothes in it, but besides that, I have nothing in mine either. I'm looking in my closet, Taylor's looking in the other room. I start looking in my linen closets, in the laundry closet, everywhere. I look in the bathroom, trash cans, the bathroom, sinks under the sink, the dishwasher, bitch, the top of the si everything. I'm looking all in the house and I'm like, these social media shows really gone. I call my mother, I'm like, ma. I tell her the story and she like, Aren't y'all the only two in there? I'm like, yes, it's just me and Taylor and the tortilla shells are gone. So at this point, I'm thinking my sis trying to prank me. I'm like, Taylor, bitch, where the tortillas? It might be confusing me saying Taylor because her name's Taylor, but I'm, I'm assuming y'all keeping up. So Taylor's like, girl, like, I don't know where they at. Like, if I was playing, like, I'm dead serious. Like, I wanted a tortilla when I woke up, too. And I wanted a, she said I wanted a taco last night, and I wanted a taco in the morning. So she just says F it, and she sprinkles the leftover ground beef from her tacos last night, and she puts it on top of her salad, and she eat it. And as she's eating, watching the show, I'm really here, like, this me in the corner. It's just like, you good? I'm like, no, I'm not good. Because we barely got groceries in here. We only got enough food to eat that night. We don't have nothing in this house and the tortillas are gone. I'm like, any other time, honestly, the crazy part is, is honestly, if I had a bunch of stuff in this house, my house was fully furnished, I'd have been like, yo, they probably just fell somewhere. I don't know, I probably would've still questioned it, but I probably wouldn't have questioned it as much. But these tortilla shells was gone, bitch. Like a big old, like 18 pack, who was it, 18, 30 pack? You know the little small, soft tortillas? Gone, MIA, missing, bitch, gone. It went from funny to concerning. So I called Courtney, I FaceTime Courtney, I'm like, I tell her the situation, I'm like, bitch, we in this house by ourselves, and these motherfucking tortillas is gone. So Courtney like, Everybody, Courtney's mother, everybody is like, yo, y'all sure y'all check everywhere. I'm like, we have been looking for these tortilla shells for an hour. This is only a 13, this is a 1300 square feet apartment with nothing in it and barely anything in the kitchen. It's not like we had to push through stuff in the fridge. There's nothing in this mother freaking house, bitch. So, after going crazy, I'm like, yo, this is weird. So I go into my sunroom. I don't know if everyone, everyone should know what a sunroom is. A sunroom is just, Kind of like a replacement for a balcony, but it's just an area where if the sliding door is closed, it'll stay whatever temperature it is, it is outside. It has a bunch of windows in there. My sunroom has a sliding door, a big glass sliding door. I slide the door open, and I look up. I start whispering because I notice that in my ceiling, there is a, like there's an attic, what looks like should go to an attic. But I'm like, I live in an apartment complex. Granted, I live on the top floor, but there was nothing on the floor plan about an attic. So at this point, I close the door and now tell y'all something. Future reference, if you ever think that something going on with somebody in your house or something, don't be like, oh my gosh, there's somebody in here. Act like you don't even know it. So I'm like, Taylor. She's like, what? And I just point up there and she was like, like our faces went. So at this point, we're just thinking irrationally. No, actually, this was very rational. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop calling myself crazy. We start thinking rationally. I'm like, okay, it's just us in the house. None of us left the house last night after we cooked, and food is missing. Now, if you guys don't know, there's plenty of stories. I'ma post some on the screen, look it up. People live in people's attics all the time. If I was on this bitch, and I saw somebody, and I knew they had a motherfucking attic, and if you think I'm not living in that motherfucking attic, and I'm not tiptoeing down in the middle of the night to steal out your fridge, you got me messed up. So I'm sitting here, and I'm like, no. There's no way no one was in here. So what makes it scarier is what me and Taylor were thinking about, one thing we notice about this apartment complex is when people don't live in them, they don't leave them closed. Like if I wanted to view the apartment complex next door, for example, they would be like, yeah, 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 we're not there to show you it, but go on right ahead in and they leave it open. We start trying to convince ourselves like, no, it's no way, it's no, what are the chances? Close the door, I close myself into the sunroom. Thinking to myself, I'm like, how could someone have gotten, I'm, I'm standing in the sunroom and I'm like, I lived in the ceiling, how would I get out here if this door is locked? I look over, this door in my sunroom does not lock. Um, it doesn't lock from the inside, it doesn't lock from the outside. 
normally wouldn't be a problem because our sunroom doesn't lead outside. We're on the top floor, our sunroom doesn't go outside. So it's like, mm, whatever. Bitch, it don't fucking lie. So, it ain't no way you can make sure somebody don't come in the house. How though? Like, how do we miss it? But I'm like, honestly, and I'm like, why would they take tortilla shells? I'm like, honestly, in a moment of panic, thinking that we might have been asleep, if someone were to slide that, and mind you, the way the ceiling, the my that, that piece of, it was just a piece of wood. Like, it was painted to, so it won't look ugly. But it was just a piece of wood you had to push up and slide to the side. Like, it wasn't like a latch door or nothing. Like, I could literally take a finger and go boop. And that, that bitch would be up. So I would go in the summer room. I called my mom. This is how I had my mom on FaceTime. I went in my room. I said, Ma, when I tell you this stuff, don't act like I'm talking about this, the, the, the ceiling. I said, I'm gonna start talking in code, but I just wanna show you what is alarming us. So this, y'all, this is how I talked to my mother on the phone. I was like, hey, Ma, yeah, you didn't get a chance to see my new apartment. So this is what it's looking like. So I just moved in. So I'm acting like, listen, I'm a bitch, I'm speaking in code. I'm like, Ma. I'm making like I'm showing you my apartment. Keep up. <laughs> if you don't keep up, you're not real. There's no way we're related. So I'm like, hey, ma, like this is my sunroom. This is like my favorite part of the house, which it is. I'm like, this is my favorite part of the house. You know, I can just imagine it in the summertime being able to relax in here and enjoy the sun without being outside. So I'm like, as I'm talking, I'm showing her the ceiling and I'm pointing up. I'm like, yeah, so, um, yeah, so this is really cute. And so I'm gonna be like, and so I show her the door too. I'm like, so this is really nice, isn't it? Like very secure. And my mother's like, mm -hmm, yeah, it is. I leave the summer room. I'm like, ma, you saw that? So my mother, I'm like, okay, so when you tell your mother and they don't think you're crazy, I'm like, okay, cool. So we not crazy. So my mother's like, yeah, that's really concerning. Taylor sits there and Taylor's like, sis. And her eyes get real big. First of all, don't do that. If we over, you fucking scared. Don't fucking do that, bitch. I'm over here like, bitch, what the fuck? Like what? And she like, bitch. And I'm like, bitch. And she like, bitch. And she started whispering. She was like, it's nobody living in an apartment connected to you. When I tell y'all I shit it, I was fucking scared because I really put two and two together. I'm like, no one lives over there. Like no one has leased that apartment yet and it's just empty. And I guarantee you it's unlocked. I didn't check at the time if there's an attic mind you at this point i don't know if it's an attic yet because i did not push it open i was too scared to push it open because i'm like yo if it's somebody up there they probably gonna do everything they can to defend themselves and i i'm not built for it right now so what if it is an attic and we share the attic with our neighbors so the person could go up from their apartment like a homeless person or whoever i'm you know could or oh, fucking crazy person shit, could go up come through and drop the fuck down. At this point, Taylor's like, you have to call your leasing office. I'm like, they gonna think I'm the crazy bitch that just moved in, nigga, I just got in here. They gonna think I'm crazy. So I call the leasing office. This is how I worded it. Now, I didn't wanna seem too crazy. So I didn't say nothing about the tortillas. I thought the tortillas would be like the icing on the cake. I was like, I'm not gonna say the tortillas because if they hear the tortillas, they're gonna be like, bitch, you called me for tortillas. So I called the leasing office and I'm like, hello. I'm gonna call the guy who lives at the leasing office, John. So John is the person who actually leased this our apartment. I call John and I'm like, hi John, this may seem very, very weird, but um, I was wondering if you guys could have maintenance come up here as soon as possible and check on, mind you, I said attic, so that way I could see if they were like attic. So I was like to check the attic to see if there's anything up there. And he was like, well, what could possibly be up there? I said, excuse me? I said, there's an attic? He's like, yeah, there's an attic. I said, when you showed us the apartment, you didn't think it was an attic. Why wouldn't you tell me it was an attic? He's like, uh, yeah, there's an attic. You guys are on the top floor, so there's an attic. I said, well, I would hope I would know if I had an attic, you know, if I wanted to know if I had extra storage or just to know about something that's in my house. He's like, oh, um, so what's going on? I said, well, I said, I just moved in. As you know, I came to pick up my keys. I just moved in and me and my friend here um, had something in the kitchen and we woke up and it was missing. I said, neither of us left the home. I said, and I just don't feel safe. I would just feel safer if someone came to check the attic to make sure he's on the phone like, so what do you want us to do? Do you want us to like <laughs> check for like burgers or something? Or like a rodent? Bitch, I looked at my phone, I said, Bitch, I hope the fuck you do. 
you I don't feel safe. Something is missing from my home. The front door is locked, both top latch and bottom latch, and something is missing from my home. So yes, I would like this to come as soon as possible, hopefully within the next 30 minutes, because y'all hoot and hollered in the tour about how fast maintenance is and how they come in less than 24 hours and they're usually there within an hour. He's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, just laughing at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I just don't get what you're trying to ask. I said they're like a burglar in there or something. Like, I don't know. This is what makes me mad. Grime it. If I called someone, if I worked in that leasing office and somebody called me, talk about something went missing in their kitchen and they think somebody living in that ceiling, I would be questioning it too. But as a professional in customer service, your job is to make sure me as a tenant feels comfortable. So you should have been like, no matter how crazy it would have been, you should have been like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm sure it's nothing. Just, you know, we're gonna have, some, just cold tight. We're gonna have somewhere there as soon as possible. You can hang up off that phone and laugh at me with your coworkers if you want to, but baby, don't do that on the phone. So I'm like, so somebody gonna come or no? He's like, yeah, we're gonna send somebody over there as soon as possible. Um, what do you want them to check for though? I said, I don't know. I said, it's not uncommon. Y'all can look up, look up people living in attics and all the headlines will be like, don't, don't ignore it if you hear noises in your attic. Don't ignore it if you hear this is that and the other cause bitch shit can happen. So honey, flapjack, that's crazy, right? So honey, I, we sat there for an hour and we like, bitch, nobody's here. Mind you, we in the living room like, we just quiet, like just trying to make sure we don't hear nothing, just on guard, bitch. So the reason we didn't want to leave the house is because I didn't want the person to come down. I, I just wanted whoever to be up there to stay up there. And if they noticed we were gone or we went to another room, boom, baby, here I am to kill you. Beep, 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 beep. So what happened was, is we had waited there so long, I called my mom, my mother was like, y'all need to just go to the leasing office. She's like, y'all need to go to the leasing office and tell them that someone needs to come now. I asked them at the leasing office, I said, hey, first of all, where's maintenance? Second of all, how is the attic constructed? I said, we're not sharing an attic with our neighbors, are we? Because if so, that wasn't put in the lease. He's like, I don't know. You telling me you don't know how this motherfucking apartment is set up? You, you telling me, you telling me that? That's what you're telling me right now? He's like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I understand what you're saying, huh? We're gonna have maintenance go over there soon. We're gonna get, how about we just get them there within the next 30 minutes? So we're gonna do that. Mind you, just, just, just babying me. Like, like, calm down, like, da, 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 da. So I'm sitting here like, I'm not your friend, baby. I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. I am a tenant. You are um, someone who's in the leasing office that is supposed, they're supposed to be tending to my, and I see maintenance. He like, yeah, he's back there. I look at maintenance, he back there on the couch like, just chilling in the leasing office. Just chilling like shit ain't going on. He was like, there should be a divider in between the two apartments. I don't see why we would have a shared attic between tenants. I'm pretty sure that's not something that they meant. I said, okay, remember you said that. He was like, what you can do is you can go grab some Starbucks or something and then we'll have someone come through there. Do they have permission to enter? I said, they have permission to enter, but I'll be waiting. And you know why I'll be waiting outside of my apartment? Because I'm not about to let y'all act like y'all went to go check my apartment just to tell me that there's nothing there because y'all don't feel like entertaining the problem and then calling me to be like yeah it's done and y'all ain't do shit me and taylor was posted up outside my apartment waiting for maintenance for 30 minutes 45 minutes actually it took forever so 45 minutes come i see maintenance pull up i stop maintenance i'm like hello are you here for apartment mm, i almost put out my apartment number are you here for apartment me make up an apartment number. Are you here for apartment 3002? This is how maintenance came to me. Yeah. I look at Taylor, I said, I said. He like, what you want me to check for up there? I said, just check, just pop it open, see if there's signs of someone being up there, something being up there, I don't know, just check. He pushes open the towel, he's like, here, I'ma tell you something before I open this. If someone were in here, I'ma show you when I push up this tile, all this stuff is gonna fall down, so you will be able to tell if someone came in. Bitch, he pushed that piece of wood up, ain't nothing drop down. He said that since it was closed for so long, there should be debris and all other types of things that should be on your carpet, but there's no sign of anyone moving the wood. Bitch, he moved that wood and a paint chip fell. One paint chip. Let me, let me give you an example of what the paint chip looked like. Bitch, give me one paint chip. I said, oh, is this the debris you're talking about? He was like, yeah, see? Me and Taylor look at each other like, do you think I'm dumb? Hear me out here, buddy. If this one paint chip fell, a boop, boop, my trash can's right there, the door's right there, the fuck? 
So I was like, can you just go up there? So he's like, do you have a ladder? You, as maintenance, came to me asking me if I have a ladder. That is your job. Where is your, where, where is your ladder? You, he came in here with a, what is it called? A leveler, the thing, the thing that you use to make sure a line is straight. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with that? Please tell me what you're doing with that. Nothing. You have everything that you don't need. He came with like a wrench and a leveler. You're supposed to be just checking. Where's your flashlight? Where's your ladder? So he was like, they're doing construction work over in the other apartment next door. So I'll just check to see if they have products. I mean, have something over there. And just to clarify something, what I meant by they're doing construction next door, there was nobody next door at the time. It's just that daily they do construction work. But note that no one was working at the time. I think they were off that day or something like that. So no one was working over there. Um, he just was saying like they usually work over there, so they probably leave equipment and stuff in there. That's important because the beach. So he goes downstairs before he goes next door, right? So I'm in apartment 3002. So while he went downstairs, honey, I went to go check up apartment 3003 was unlocked. So he wouldn't be able to say, we don't keep that unlocked. Yo, lo and behold, I go over to apartment 3003, bitch. Pew, door applies right open when I open it. They leave that door unlocked all day, every day bitch he grabs a ladder brings it over and, she, and he brings it in my house so my mother said make sure when he looks up in that attic he lets you look too i said cool so he gets the ladder mind you he got it from next door which means if somebody was up there they could easily have had a ladder to have access into my apartment but that's beside the point so he climbs up that ladder girl and when he gets up there he looking around, he's like, yeah, it doesn't look like there's signs of anyone being up there. Remember that he said that. He said, there are no signs of anyone being up here. Mind you, he reassured me too before going up there that he thought there was a firewall to separate the two homes. I said, is, that, is, is it a firewall up there that you were talking about? He said, um, it doesn't look like there is. I said, so what you're telling me is that the other apartment has access to my apartment? Like they can just climb up in their roof and come down in mine? I mean, I guess technically, but who would do that? So I said, excuse me, sir. I said, can I please get on top of that ladder and get up there? This way it get crazy. This way it get crazy. I get on that ladder, bitch. I look right. I look left. I said, oh. So there isn't a separator up here, but this is not the crazy part. So I completely look up over stuff and I look in front of me, directly in front of me, like right where the opening of my thing is. I wish I would've took a picture of this. Ooh, I wish I took a picture of this. Ooh. I look down at this. There's a soda can up there. A Pepsi soda can. <laughs> Pepsi soda can. I, y'all, this really sounds crazy. And like, I swear to God, this all happened. There is a Pepsi soda can sitting in my ceiling. I'm like, no signs of anyone being up here. I'm like, what's this? He was like, I mean, workers could have been up there. They're doing construction up there. I said, he said, and if anything were to happen, the construction workers are over there all the time. So if anyone knew, they would know. I said, I said, bitch. I said, honey. How often are the, mind you, I know for a fact them construction workers ain't sleeping over there. I said, how often are the construction workers there? What, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, 8 to 5, 7 to 5, 7 to 7. I said, they ain't there all night. I said, they don't sleep there, do they? He said, well, no. I said, okay, okay, honey. So if someone wants to live in the ceiling, they could. First, I asked maintenance. I said, so what is there that there could be done to this? Like, can y'all? bolt my window sh i mean my this door shut can we put a lock on there he's like i don't really think that we can do stuff like that like that's not something that you can ask me i've collected myself and i said honestly i can get mad at maintenance for this terrible attitude but i cannot get mad at them because he's completely right he only does jobs that they tell him to do so i said you know what sir go on about your day grab your ladder get your shit and get the hell out i said go on about your day we up here at apartment 3002 we're gonna figure this the hell out so i sat there and i said ma what should i do she said y'all need to go down there and tell them because also maintenance tried to tell me that they were going to charge me for putting that shit up there. I said, uh-uh, baby. I said, y'all not charging me. I said, because at this point, I'm sharing my space with my neighbors and I don't pay that much money a month to share my space. So.
So go down to the leasing office. I said, what can be done about this? I said, who can I speak to? I said, do I have to speak to the leasing manager? Mind you, this is something that should have people alarmed. Literally, someone can access, has easy access to my apartment. Like, what? Why, why is no one, why is no one acting crazy? Why is the leasing office not thinking, lawsuit? That'll be my first lawsuit. Lawsuit. Like that would've been the first thing that rang on my head. Oh shoot. Like if I had a business and I figured out something and I realized something like that, my head would have been malfunctioning thinking, shit, how can I fix this immediately? So I go down there and everybody's like, at the leasing office like, okay, so you're gonna have to wait for the leasing manager and she's not here right now. I said, okay. So, mind you, we're not staying in this apartment. My sis already had the, the hotel book. Taylor booked the hotel, and we already said we wasn't staying in there. Mind you, I should have had the ass to pay for the motherfucking hotel, but that's beside the point. I said, I booked the hotel, and yeah, I'm gonna call back later. I said, will the leasing manager be in tomorrow? He said, it's the weekend. No. Honey, like, I'm supposed to know y'all's schedule. I don't work here. I'm not on the clock, bitch. I'm like, okay, cool, I love you, bye. Give him a few hours, I call back, I'm like, hey, just checking to make sure, um, you know, the leasing manager is still available to speak. He was like, she's still on the phone, do you wanna call back or do you wanna wait? I said, I'll wait. These niggas is rude. So I get on the phone, we gonna call her Karen. Oh, hey, it's Karen, my staff debriefed me on everything that was going on and, and you know, I, I really, I, I apologize for what's going on. We weren't, we didn't know that this is how this was set up. You ain't know how this was set up. How you run an apartment complex and you don't know how the department set up? Y'all knew it was an attic up there. It has no one ever looked up there. Hmm? So, you know, I'm letting her feed her bullshit. I'm like, okay, cool. So, this is the deal. I said, your staff is very, very unprofessional. I don't know if there's something that needs to be done with your training, but I am a new resident in this community, and so far I am not happy with the service that is provided. Um, I said, you either are going to move my units, or we're going to get that top part dead bolted and get a lock that only I can access on the outside. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. We can definitely have that done. Uh, we're gonna see how quickly we can have it done. I said, no, no, no. I got a hotel. We only have a hotel for one night. And I said, I really shouldn't have had to spend the money to do that. And one of your staff members tried to tell me that, mind you, I'm very professional. I'm like, ain't nobody about to, y'all know how people get. I said, y'all not about to sit here and say, I came at y'all with an attitude, nothing like that. I was nothing but courteous when I should have cussed y'all out. So I'm like, yeah, so, what y'all are gonna do is someone is gonna be there ASAP. I said, I understand that maintenance is typically available every day of the week. I said, so there has to be a way for y'all to fit that in quick. And so she's like, oh yeah, sure. Well, no, 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 no. What I mean by as soon as possible, we're gonna have it done in the next 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna make sure that they get that secure. I'm a woman too. And you know, she tried, I got kids and I'm a woman. You guys should look into getting a security system. First of all. I'm tired of moving my neck like this. Cause that's how I felt the whole time. Every time somebody says something, I'm like, I said, first of all, I said, don't tell me what I need to do. I said, I already know I'm gonna get a security system cause that was in the plan, period. I said, I got a security system, that was in the plan, period. I said, but two, I'm like, I should feel secure in my building. I said, and I don't. She was like, I'm not sure how someone would have had access to your apartment. I said, oh, because you guys keep the vacant apartments open. And she said, um, I'm not sure about that. I said, I'm sure. I said, because I forgot to add this detail in, when maintenance was there that earlier, I told him, I said, how do you think that no one can get in my apartment when that y'all leave the doors unlocked? He said, no, I don't. I said, yes, you do. I said, yes, you do. Yes, you do. I said, because watch. <laughs> Open the door in front of him. He like, yeah, uh-huh, yes you do. And I said, I know you do, because when I wanted to tour, and a lot of apartments around here do, I don't know if it's an Atlanta thing or if people just do it in general, but when I tried to visit an apartment um, in a community, a few communities down, the same thing happened to me. I called the leasing lady and I was late because I was road tripping from uh, Maryland at the time. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. She was like, oh no, it's fine. You know what? Um, go ahead and check the apartment. We're already gone from the leasing office, but she should be able to get into the community. And we left the, and the unit stays unlocked. Why? Why are you guys just letting people in? Like, what the fuck? So people probably know this. Like, God willing, it was just a homeless person that was up there and just went up and whoop, and whoop, stole the tortillas. That's the case 
Because if not, what if it was what if it was a murderer? What if it was a serial killer? What if it was a rapist? Fast forward, they did put the lock on my cellar so no one can get in here. But bitch, let me show you what this shit look like. <laughs> what the fuck? Be what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck I'ma do with that bitch? What the fuck? I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. So, okay, yeah. It's sloppy as shit. I'm like, you know what? Y'all obviously did it with an attitude. I'm assuming it was the same maintenance man, because I don't think they have a bunch of maintenance staff. I think they take shifts. But I'm like, okay, cool. I'm assuming it's the same maintenance dude. He had an attitude, whatever, but at least it's on there. I might be crooked and not aesthetically pleasing, but it's on there. So, I don't care what nobody says. At the end of the day, although I did not see the physical man come out of the, I'm, I keep saying man, could have been a woman. I don't know. Although I did not see the person come out of the ceiling, the tortilla shells are gone. And to this day, a month later, they're nowhere to be found. They're not in my car. They were never in the trash can. They're not falling in the surrounding areas. They're not behind the fridge. They're not under the cabinets. They're not on top of the cabinets. They're nowhere because we checked every crack, crease, and crevice in this apartment and they're gone. At the end of the day, the tortillas were gone. A soda can was in the ceiling showing proof of someone being in there. And yeah, so, and I fucking hate my leasing office. So there's that. So I probably will be moving out. No, not probably. I will 100% be moving out at the end of my lease. So there's that. But overall, it's a beautiful apartment. Beautiful community, beautiful community, beautiful people, beautiful people. But yes, um, overall, I got my ceiling dead bolted. Um, just pray to God no one's snooping on, you know, hey. Um, but that's the end of this story time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I don't even know if y'all gonna like the story time. I feel like telling stories be so boring. Like, not boring. I, the thing is, is, I like story time. That's the crazy part. But I just be feeling like y'all don't be wanting to hear stuff. But that's the story of the person living in my ceiling. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me in. Y'all better follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. If you don't, you fake. Yes, I like to thank all of my motherfucking subscribers. I don't know what to really call them yet, but I love you all. Um, I like to thank my mom, God, um, and everyone who has followed me and helped me to this point. I have been doing social media for three or four years now, and I'm just so happy. I never thought I'd see the day. Um, we really hit 100K in months, month, guys, in months. So. Um, and we're almost at 200k as I'm making this video. I love you guys. Let's get to a million so we can get that motherfucker to go. Yeah. Oh, bitch.